Welcome back to the Hot Wheels room, guys and girls. We're looking at some of my most expensive Hot Wheels that I own. In this video, it's a little holiday seasonal video idea that I've got. Showing off some of my favorite cars in my collections, not just Hot Wheels. Green Light and Johnny Lightning is actually the next video like this. Uh, I was going to show you guys just, you know, I was going to do a video, I should say, just on some ordinary things that I do, like opening up a whole bunch of old blue cards. Bunch of interesting old Corgi Hot Wheels, but there's nothing there that's overly interesting or exciting and valuable. Just somewhat interesting. But instead today, we are looking at, and this is going to be a real off-the-cuff video, guys. It's going to be just winging it, going through, looking at a whole bunch of Hot Wheels, and we're going to be zooming in on some of the more interesting and expensive variations. Even though some of these cars have been covered in previous year-by-year -year videos, there's hours and hours of stuff to watch with that. So here's just going to be an overview of the most interesting and expensive cars that I've thrown money at. Literally. Kind of like that, except it ends up on the wall, not on the floor. Well, hopefully. And that's, uh, you know, assuming the cars don't fall out of these little cubbies and fall on the floor for some reason. But anyways, let's start right at the top. Pretty much every car in this 1974 case is of note. However, I'm going to just zoom in on probably my favorite in this case. This green heavy Chevy Redline, all original. An alternate variation to the more common yellow heavy Chevy. That car cost me over $1,000. Also of interest is a yellow Carabo, But this one's kind of beat up. If that was mint, it'd be worth a lot of money. And, of course, a pair of yellow Baja Bruisers. Both variations. We've got the blue uh, flag, striped flag or stars and spangle flag, whatever you want to call it. And then the purple and red version there. That being a more common version of the orange Baja Bruiser from 1974. So, let's move on to a different year. Uh, there's lots more cars in there I could tell you about, but we've got to keep this rolling. And in this year, we've got some interesting Volkswagen Beetles of note. We've got the original Volkswagen Beetle. And then this interesting little variation, a first run with the stripes on top in mint condition. That one cost me over $500. And its little herfy partner here with the Beetle on top is worth about $200 plus still. And that's still 1974. I thought we were in 75, but we're not. We're still in 1974 now, moving into 1975. Some very interesting Mustang stalkers there. A couple rarer and rarer variations as you go. I think I spent about $150 on that car way back in the day. It's probably worth more like $250 nowadays. An extremely rare collection of motorcycles. Those are tough ones. I can't even remember the names of them right off the top of my head. But we'll move along. A very rare collection of super vans here. This is from the Crash Canyon playset, or Canyon something anyways. Can't remember exactly. But it's an expensive one. It was part of a group lot of extremely, I think it was three extremely rare vehicles that I paid nearly $900 for several years ago. And each of these vans, very, very rare. Uh, promotional vans. This one set me back around $500. I think this one was around $400. And often reproduced, so you want to make sure you're getting the original deal like I have when you're buying those things. Get some good pictures if you have to buy it online, or if you're so lucky as to find those in the store and want to add those to your collection, you got some money to burn, make sure that they are not customs. Here's some very rare green Baja Bruisers. Amazing, really rare vehicles. They're actually both the same. There is an extremely rare Blackwell version of this one. I'm just going to beat up one and hoping to add the Blackwell one at some point, but it's never happened. Can't find it. Moving right along. Some rare variations. I'm not going to talk about that red line GMC motorhome because it's too often forged. So let's just move right along. It's a rare one though. Lots of uh, Blackwell red line both vehicles in this set. So we're just going to cruise through. We find the staff car. Oh, the staff car. I think I spent around $350 on that car. And uh, chrome plastic base. There's a Blackwell version you're going to see right now. That's even rarer. This one is from 1977, I believe. Original Blackwell staff car. Doesn't that look good next to its 
mated super van. I think that car cost me about $550. Oh, and four thrill drivers. Boy, it just keeps going here. Never mind. Look at this thing. Promotional. Very, very rare. What was that one called again? The Buzz Off. With the blue kind of beetle on the roof. There's an actual name for that beetle. Oh, and there's that car. The one, the one time it was released in the uh, in a uh, Turbo 600 playset or something. I just bought the playset actually from a cool guy, so I gotta gotta get that into a video. Anyways, I'm all over the place here, guys. This is not a normal video. Catch my breath. Whoo! Anyways, rare, rare Zedwiz with red line wheels on it. That's a tough car to find. These Zedwizes are going up in value like crazy, probably to do with the. Uh, the JDM craze that's currently going on. There's a car that screwed me over. Oh, 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 you're done. Look how it landed. It's like, help me. Yeah, well, this was just a regular old black wall of that car that I paid $450 for. And uh, I did not look at the pictures close enough, guys. And I should have made a stink right away. Those are clearly wheels that have just been somehow smashed on there without drilling out the rivet. So be friggin careful guys. Mind the colorful language. Never mind that. Sorry about that. Anyways, got to keep it a little bit colorful now because this channel is made for the adult collectors. It's also great fun for your kids. I'm going to keep it clean, but going forward, so I've got this whole dilemma with YouTube that's, you know, what's made for kids? What's adults? And we don't want to turn this into a cartoon channel. So anyways, moving right along. That's a whole other subject you can find all over YouTube at the moment. As changes are made up until January 1st, there's going to be big changes, apparently, to YouTube. Hopefully not to my channel. We shall see. Body Swappers. 1985, I believe. Holy smokes, that's a rare set. Uh, up here, super rare flip out. I think that one's 1986 or 87. The white uh, road flipper, it's called there. It's like a firebird, more commonly found in black. Just skipping all over the place here, guys. Never mind me. Let's go on down here, have a look at some more cars in the 70s. Probably missed one, like the Jeffrey the Giraffe, Toys R Us promotional super van. That's a hard vehicle to find, just saw it, just saw one sell for around 250 bones on the old eBay Maestro website, so here's a cool little set, straight from Japan, came with the original cardboard box and a perfectly mint poison pinto. My goodness, that was a tough car to get. Especially in that condition, I paid about 150 bucks for that one too. And $100, which I think was a deal, on this Blackwall All Original Caribou. Comes with the uh, original Japanese box, but the box shows red lines, interestingly. Known variation. Hmm, where to next? Let's go up and over, look through a bunch of cars. I'm probably missing a bunch that you want to see, but you can point those out in the comments. Maybe we'll take a look at them again, or I can direct you to the appropriate video where there should be tons of information on them. We're still in the 70s. Let's just take a broad look here. Oh, couldn't couldn't go by without mentioning my Vetti Funny with the white, yellow, and black tempo. $500 car, my goodness. Probably could have paid off my, uh, my mortgage by now had I put the money in the right spot. Could have owned the home. Some pretty cool vehicles in here. Nothing overly expensive. I mean, each of these cars generally around Fifty to a hundred dollars a car. That's pretty normal in this uh, condition of mintness. A brown hot bird, all original in mint condition, like this one's going to set you back at least three hundred dollars nowadays. Even the blue one. I think I paid about sixty bucks for that car back when I bought it, but I've seen those sell well over a hundred these days. Ah, uh, expensive vehicles. The moving on set and hammer down. This is from a race truck set that came out in 1981. Once again, my foggy brain does not have all of that information still stockpiled at a moment's notice. Although it should. Although it should. Lots of cool cars in here. I mean, we've got the green fendered 81 Doozy. That's worth noting. That's about a $150 car. Maybe more. Who knows? Depends how badly you want it. Moving up. So many cars from 1982. Some beauties in there. Look at that Jaguar. They just don't make all metal cars like that. Holy, that's a beauty. XJ6, I believe, eh? My friends in uh, Europe, in the UK, will probably know what that Jaguar is all about. 
Okay, look at we got more cars here to look at. Uh, nothing jumping out just yet. Oh, black roof Bronco. That's pretty hard to find. Yeah, moving up, moving up, moving up. Ah, the Hot Bird, Captain America with gold Hot One wheels. Extremely hard to find car. Holy smokes, I paid good money for that car. Can't remember exactly what. But she was expensive. She was very expensive. What else we got? Oh, nice, another nice Zedwiz. Gotta, gotta throw those out there. That's a beauty blue one. Beautiful condition. Some very difficult to find Mustangs too. We've got the uh, metallic red playset only. That one's a tough one. It's got the blue Cobra image on the uh, hood. Ah, that's all. I was bidding on these two. I want another set. I'm greedy like that. I saw these on uh, eBay just come up. They so rarely come up. These Broncos, uh, personnel carriers they call them for this, per for this particular paint job. The only time they ever use that name. There's a bunch of whole bunch of rare action command vehicles here. Uh, they only came out one year like that. All those $100, $200 vehicles all day long. Someone got a great deal on those. I wasn't bidding wholeheartedly as I typically do. I just, I just wanted them, but I was outbid by oh, a landslide. Another really rare Canadian release Cadillac with the purple tampos on the side. Oh, what else have we got? What else have we got, boys and girls? Another beautiful Jaguar XJ6. Oh, yeah. Love those plastic bumpers on it, all metal. Couldn't skip by those Mountain Dew stalkers. Everyone likes a Mountain Dew stalker too. Green paint variations there. Doodly doodly doo. Down we go. Ooh, there's a there's a nice set. It's a difficult to find one. Uh, the 15th anniversary belt buckle vehicles. All those cars are well, quite expensive. Quite expensive. Blah. Look at all these expensive cars. Okay, those ones are packages. We'll move on up. Got some nice newer expensive vehicles as well. We're gonna get to that in this video as well. I got a Beautiful display to show you, but these uh, these Texas drive -ems, I haven't seen the casting lately as much. They kind of overdid it, but uh, expensive, expensive castings. RLC club stuff, you know, put your order in, wait a year, that sort of thing. Lots of rare real rider vehicles in there, too many to mention. If you collect the uh, original real riders, you know what uh, what I'm talking about, what's... What's valuable here, I mean, we got the white wheeled Corvette Stingray. That's a tough car to find. Uh, what else? These, these super scrapers. Based on whether they have the toolbox in the back or the uh, no toolbox in the corner of the back of the truck. Anyways, blah, that's too much information. TMI. Uh, speed Machines, 1983. All of them. Extremely rare. Just saw this one sell for, I think it was $150 on eBay. Holy smokes, yeah, that's about what I spent for it too. And I opened it, my goodness. Lots of rare cars in there. A few I'm missing, as you can see, a few spaces. I know a few cats out there with some of the cars I need, but they're so rare, no one wants to get rid of them. Even when you throw lots and lots of $100 bills at them. More super rare cars. These are all from Europe, uh, France, release. Mm, a few from India, but just some, all these cars. This is why I don't collect the cars from International, because here in Canada, I don't know, they're very expensive. They're probably expensive everywhere, including those. Those are Mexico, Mexico release only, thrill drivers. They look just like the other thrill drivers, except they've got a, a brighter orange stripe on them. And, of course, on the bottom, made in Mexico. So that's beautiful. Love that little set there. Paid lots and lots of money for that set. Oh, wow, so many cars to look at. I'm just going to skim through here, as you can see. Rare real riders. We've got some very rare cars and playset cars, which are always banged up. Soul Air CX-4, one of my favorites from the Larry Wood collection. Still got to crack that one out of the bag. Kind of think that those Larry Wood stickers are getting a little overdone. I think someone's got a mass printer. They're just printing them off, slapping them on, on cars on eBay, and... Getting quadruple, sometimes quintuplet the amounts of money that the car is actually worth. Luckily, I think I got a good deal on that car. It's a hard one to find. I think I paid about $100 for it. My goodness. My goodness, that could have fed me for a week or two or three, depending on how little I eat. Uh, super van. No, no, Baja Breaker. Baja Breaker. What a beauty. 
white rim. Very, very rare. Looking for a brown fender, one of these, if anyone's got one. Willing to pay big money. Ah, uh, Mexico. Mexico Pontiac 2000. One of my favorite little crap box cars of the 80s. What a beautiful dragon on the side. My goodness. Oh, i got to come up with better words than my goodness. i got to keep this adult. And uh, also child-friendly. Of course, adult and child-friendly. But appealing to both. Got this whole YouTube thing all stuck in my head. Everyone's freaking out about it. Lots of cool cars in there. Green, Canadian release only, flat out, 442. Whew. Beauties. Beauties. So many vehicles to look at. It's been a while since I've done a scan like this. Certainly one where I rant on non-stop. For those that haven't hit the mute button already and put on some music, wow, I commend you. Oh, orange turbo. What a beauty. What a beauty. What a beauto. This one has the name crossed out on it. Uh, whew, what's it called again? Oh, it's so terrible. Anyways, it'll come to me. Uh, heat fleet, turbo fleet, turbo heat, turbo heat? I don't know, something like that. We'll find out later. No big deal. Some more very rare cars. You never know where they're hiding in here. They're sometimes down way at the bottom. Not in this case. Nice little collection of military vehicles. All variations. No duplicates here. Might look like there's duplicates. There's no duplicates. Not on these walls. Everything has a reason. Got the uh, 20th anniversary delivery van with grooves and smooth side. Hello. Super rare ultra hot wheel version of the Nissan 300ZX. Paid about $200 for that car. I did overpay. I've seen it sell for about half that. Oh well. Got it. It's all supply and demand, guys. Sometimes you pay a lot. Sometimes you pay a little and you're super happy. Overall, I'm happy with all my purchases. Although I do get buyer's regret sometimes when I spend the big money. I always later go, Whew, so nice to have that in the collection. They so rarely come up. Uh, I've seen these cars. They were so rare at first to come up from yet another playset. Uh... God, I just can't remember any of the playset names today. Just got too much in my brain trying to... So everything's on backlog. Anyways, some nice little Renaults. Uh, I was... I'm, I'm also scatterbrained. That was a tough car to find at the time. I spent about $200 for that car. I have seen nice examples sell for half that as well. And this one's a, a little bit more common for some reason. I think a little bit more obvious that it's a cool looking car. It's got those big glow-in-the-dark flames on it. On that uh, blown Camaro. Beautiful. Uh, interesting Omni. I like those Omni cars. But these little Renaults, holy, I looked a long time. This is a Canadian release only of this little Renault. Uh, hmm, Renault Le Car. Renault Le Car. So, yeah, that was a blue one. I got that one from a guy in Florida. Whew, I'd love to be in Florida right now. You should see the snow out there. Uh, as we approach the holiday season of craziness and store avoidance and mass gift giving or in my case mass gift giving of hot wheels to myself parcels and parcels on the way so much stuff to review i guess it's gonna be a 2020 thing in a row of time here all these ideas i have and anyways whew. we'll see if this we'll see if the channel can sustain all my ideas there's so many it's more of a time constraint really so many cool cars here sorry for the clicking of the camera i'm cracking at the at the little display to see what i'm looking at I mean, a lot of these are all, we're getting into the blue card years, 1990 to uh, 95 and way on beyond. I mean, there's some very expensive cars in here, but uh, whew, do you guys want to see this? I think almost, maybe crack it off partly and just I just want to kind of show some more cool cars though. Ones I know they're super cool. Uh, these MR2s, holy Hard to get those black MR2 wheel variations. Very difficult car to get. Personally, I like the SP5 with the chrome fog lights on it. What a beauty. What a beauty. Uh, get out of the way, chair. What else we got down here? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The California Customs. These cars are getting a little bit more pricey. Some of them are very common, like those green Mustangs, but there's lots of rare little variations to take note of. Look at the wheel changes, look at the color changes in the Tampo. Uh, wheel and color changes, different color uh, California Custom on the windshield. Those two are duplicates. That's such a rare thing for me to have duplicates on the wall. Weird. Do something about that. 
Um, these are parking plates. Super, super rare. Uh, very expensive. 40s woody. The white wall, metallic red. That blazer and that weird lime green. Almost looks like a changed color, but it's not. Uh, black wall. T-bird. Uh, 57 T-bird. Quite rare. Got to be careful once again with these cars. Make sure they're original. Some of them I've bought in the package. Packages are often pretty banged up. I tear them out. Make sure they're real. Uh, lots of rare cars. I'm looking for one of these 55 Chevys with a yellow tampo. If you, if you have one of those cars, you know what I'm talking about. I need that car. Whoa. Money. I give you some money. Your car's my money. Kind of like an Oliver Jeweler thing. If you look up Oliver Jeweler. Your gold, my cash. Let's make a deal. Something like that. Sorry, copyright infringement. Don't do it. Um, what else have we got? More California Customs. Some beauties up there. Beautiful Camaro collection. Uh-oh, lighting. Lighting issue. Okay. IROC Camaro Red with the Real Riders. Very rare. Some very rare variations up here. Seen them sell a couple of times. Still always got my eye on them. Just like to know if anyone's got... Getting lucky and getting those cars. I got super lucky when I got this whole little uh, collection of these cars. What the heck are they called again? Uh, Power Command cars, yeah, with all of their actual fins intact and tires. No use, no play. Uh, those, I, those were just a beautiful collection. I bought one by one from a collector on eBay. And I just saw this beauty sell for $400. I think that's about what I spent, maybe $350. Oh, there's the car. It's super rare. That 57 T-Bird with the orange and yellow tampos. White walls. That's the rarest of the uh, of the park and plate cars. It's under 91 promos, but I could have been a little more specific. Still got to do some work on this. 67 Camaro from the uh, California Customs. What is going on here? I guess the park and plates ended. That's it. California Customs. I need to organize this a little better, even though that's crazy. Another extremely rare variation paid big money for this all pink interior pink bumper Yellow wheel California custom straight from the Larry Wood collection supposedly Gotta do something about that car as well Lots of variations there looking for one of these cars with a blue painted base and guys don't paint the base yourself and try and sell it to me I need the real deal money money, money. Give me money. Uh, Lots of cool cars in here as you can see uh, I know there's some big, rare, expensive ones floating around here somewhere. I probably skimmed by a bunch of them. I know I have, in fact. Tattoo cars. Not expensive, but the this one of these cars is from my actual youth. I took care of it. I loved it. So is that little BMW. I just love those tattoo cars. Definitely used up the tattoos, but I've got more in the package. 1992, I think those came out. Pretty rare. Really like the skateboard ice cream rental van. That's a tough one to get. It's worth a bit of money now, too. Oh, as we go up, interesting. Hot Wheels on videos cars. Oh, so much cool stuff I gotta go through with you guys. You know, so many videos I gotta do. Uh, the Revealer series. Oh, I've got every car from the Revealer series, except I am missing the black Lamborghini Diablo. Who's got that car? I need the. I need that car for my collection. I can't see it being worth huge money, but maybe it is because I haven't seen one come up for sale yet, and that is weird. That is really weird. I've got every other car in the collection, including that all gold, not real gold Lamborghini Countach. That's a tough car. Only one of 1,000. Special gift if you bought 10 revealer cars and sent in your UPC coats to Mattel at the time in 1993. They would possibly, you had a chance to win that car or a chance to win a BMX bicycle from Hot Wheels. Personally, I'd rather have the car. Anyways, the rest of this stuff is all pretty interesting, but there's so much here. Just keeps going. We're getting into the 90s. I mean, nothing worth hundreds of dollars here. Some cars worth $40, $50, mostly not. Interesting cars nonetheless. Nonetheless, let's get over to the display. This one's got a mirror in it. Hopefully you don't catch sight of my crazy head. Hi. Okay. Let's get into this. Holy, holy cow, lots of nice cool cars. So many cool vehicles over the years. Check out the Silverado. That was an RLC truck. Uh, so many cool vehicles in here. Some retro entertainment vehicles. 
Uh, the Ghostbuster car, the, the camera's trying to focus on myself in the mirror, I think, so this may or may not work out. Anyways, I got other cars I can show you. I need to, I would love to, not need to, I would love to get more of these cases, but they're like $200 plus delivery, so that's not happening. And anyways, the Plano cases, the Plano 5324 model, there's your plug, uh, available at Walmart. They work out pretty well, as you can see from the storage. So, I think we'll call that a wrap. I'll get into the more boring videos. No, not boring. i got to make them interesting for you. Next video is going to be all of the best Johnny Lightning cars over... Well, I might as well turn the camera around so you can see my crazy head. Uh, ah, there we go. Non-ideal lighting. Okay. The next video will be the Johnny Lightning cars, my favorite. I've already hand-picked. I had to move all of my Johnny Lightning cars from one case to the other. Not in this room. Uh, in the Hot Wheel Museum room, so, well, it's not really Hot Wheels, it's actually Greenlight, M2, Auto World, Hot Wheels, and Johnny Lightning, a little bit of Matchbox, uh, sortation going on there, but there's another video coming soon, so stick around, happy holidays, hope you're enjoying all this festive, crazy crappiness that happens this time of year, and all uh, the spirit of Christmas, and the joy of giving and receiving Hot Wheels, happy hunting.